when you stay with the breath. Think of the breath as soothing the body each time you breathe in, soothing the mind as well. Because the mind is irritated with its greed, aversion, and delusion, and it needs something to soothe it down. And we give into these things, we like them while we're doing it, and then afterwards we, we discover that they leave a lot of dis-ease in their wake. And so at the very least, try to clean up the messes with the mind has been making for itself, and then also train it. It doesn't have to make those messes. It doesn't have to get, it, get itself ill over the things that it's craving or the things that it's angry about. When you see in the world there are likable things and there are things that are not likable. The question is, do you have to get your mind worked up about those things? Some people think that well, if you don't get worked up, then you're not going to be able to do anything in the world. That's not the case. And when the mind is really well, and when it's really healthy, it can see what needs to be done, and it's happy to do it. It doesn't have any resistance to act doing the right thing. And so it's very easy to see what should be done, what shouldn't be done, and also to do what should be done and to abstain what shouldn't be done from what shouldn't be done. That's the mind when it's healthy. The problem is our mind is it's like he's going with a disease all the time. The irritation of anger, the irritation of passion, the, the irritation of these other things. These are diseases in the mind that we've got to cure. And we come to the come to the Buddha as our doctor. And he's not the kind of doctor who's going, just going to give us a shot and send us home. He's the kind like they had, used to have in the old days, where they'd, he would say, okay, this is what your disease is, this is what's causing it, these are the medicines you need to find. So you go out and you find the medicines, and you fix the medicine, and you take it yourself. That's the kind of doctor the Buddha is. Because it's an understanding your own disease that you can begin to get a handle on it. Otherwise, you just get a shot and you go back home and you keep on acting the way you did before. It's the disease is going to come back. The, the Buddha wants you to be your own doctor, basically, and learn how to look after your own diseases, to learn how to read the different symptoms in the mind, and figure out what needs to be done. Because there's nobody else that can just give you a shot and say, okay, you're going to be well. Because you're the one that keeps stirring up the greed, aversion, and delusion in the mind, so you're the one who has to learn how to stop, how to stop doing that. That takes knowledge, and it takes mindfulness, and it takes alertness. These are the qualities we develop as we meditate, so we can be our own doctors. The slightest sign of an illness comes up in the mind, okay, you take care of it right away before it becomes a major illness. That way you can look after your mind, you look after the health of your mind. We're all concerned about the health of the body, and this time of year you do have to be concerned. But the health of your mind is a lot more important. Because a diseased mind can create a lot more trouble than a diseased body. So make sure you look after the health of your mind every day, every time you breathe in and breathe out. Ask yourself, what shape is the mind? Is it beginning to get some germs of anger or some germs of craving or some germs of greed? Any of these things. Okay? As soon as you sense there's a little bit there, you've got to take care of it. So always keep your medicine at hand. Ability to stay with the breath, keep the breath comfortable. The more comfortable the breath is, the more easily you'll see these germs when they come. So make sure you look after the health of your mind day by day. <laughs>